Hello, and thank you so much for joining us today at the spa. Um, as your personal assistant probably explained to you when they booked this appointment for you, uh, what we do at this spa is we provide uh, initial appointments to people such as yourself, people um, who have a sort of importance or influence, and uh, we give you a completely complimentary service. We also send you home with full-size samples of all the products that we use on you. Um, all of these will be at least a one-month supply, so you have plenty of time to try it out at home and make sure that you like it. Um, and then our hope, of course, is that you will enjoy our products and enjoy our service so much that you'll return again and again, both for services, to buy our products, and to recommend to your colleagues, okay? So it is crucially important to us that you enjoy this procedure, um, so please relax and let me know if there's anything I can do to make you more comfortable. I have selected a number of products that I think will be perfect for your skin. Um, what we're going to be doing is a cleansing, exfoliation, um, a toning. We're going to be applying a mask to your face. We're going to give you a nice relaxing massage while you're waiting for that mask to work its magic. And then finally we'll be moisturizing. And that's it. How does that sound? Okay. So like I said, I have selected some products already that I think will be perfect for you. Um, however, in a few instances you do have a choice um, between a couple different products because you know what you like best and you know your body best. So, uh, to begin with, I'm going to be doing a cleansing on your face with a sonic brush. I've chosen two different cleansers here. Uh, they're both very simple, but uh, you have such wonderful skin. That's honestly all you need is something quite basic and gentle. Uh, we have CeraVe, which is a hydrating cleanser for normal to dry skin. And we also have Cetaphil, which is a gentle cleanser for all skin types. So, if you tend to have a little bit of oiliness, in your face. Um, this is often a better choice, but if you have some issues with dryness, then I would recommend this. Which one would you like? Okay. And just so you know how this brush works, um, this is a vibrating brush. We'll be sending you home with one of these, too. And this is a really simple model. Uh, I like to recommend this to people who haven't used sonic brushes before. It doesn't rotate at the head, it just vibrates. Um, but it's still quite effective, and it's a good starter brush for people who aren't sure if they want to make the investment in a higher-end brush like this. So it's effective, simple, it's quite inexpensive, and um, if you really enjoy it, what you can then do is choose to make the investment in a uh, more expensive brush and see how you like that. Okay? So we have two different brush heads today. Let me grab them both for you. So the first brush head is right here, and it's very, very soft. Both the brush heads are going to be quite gentle on your skin, but this one in particular has very fine, soft bristles, and I generally use this for the initial cleansing. What we also have is this 
brush head right here, which is still quite gentle on your skin, but the bristles are a little bit stiffer, so they offer a little bit of exfoliation. I'll be matching this with an exfoliating cream after your initial cleansing. Okay. Let's see. Some people get nervous about the brush because it looks like it's going to be too abrasive, but it's really not. You'll see for yourself that it's quite soft. So, let's begin by doing an initial pass over your face with one of these cleansing cloths. I use these on everyone when we first start the process, whether they're wearing lots of makeup or no makeup, and it's just going to give a very gentle, uh, quick surface cleaning. It does remove makeup very well. Uh, it also removes any sweat, dirt, um, just any of the normal daily pollutants that we all get on our skin from being out and about during the day, okay? Go down your nose. Good. Gently over your eye. Could you close your eyes for me? Thank you. You can open them, and you are looking great. You're already looking a little fresher, which is nice to see. We have a long way to go. You are just going to love how soft and fresh and clean your skin feels at the end of this. So, I'm going to get a little bit of your chosen cleanser here. And your skin is still nice and damp from those wipes, so let's go ahead and apply the brush head. Here we go. Again, I'm just going to gently apply the cleanser, just a few kind of little dabs on your face, and then I'll use the brush to really work it in. Okay? So, got your cleanser. Put a little bit in my hand. Okay. I'm gonna reach in and apply it to your cheek, your other cheek, along your forehead, your chin. Just a dab here at the side of your nose, and on this side. 
Beautiful. Okay, so I'll be turning the brush on and I'll be massaging in slow, gentle circles all over your face. Okay, let's go ahead and start here on your cheek. Working. Nice. Gentle. Getting too close to the under eye area. Back toward your ear and up your temple a little bit. Back down your jawline, chin. Look down your chin now. See your skin kind of waking up under the cleanser there. Okay, moving on to the other side. Gives you a little bit of a face massage too, which is nice. We use our face muscles for so much during the day, so much expression. They tend to not get the attention that they deserve, so you enjoy the nice, relaxing, massaging sensation of the brush on your skin, forehead. Getting in there. This nice, cool cleanser. It's nice and gentle on the skin, but quite very well effective. wipe to clean all that excess cleanser off your face. Yeah, here we go. Chin. Other cheek. Next, we're going to move on to the exfoliator. I have this Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. And this is a wonderful product that's going to gently but thoroughly exfoliate your skin, uh, clearing away lots of dead skin cells on the surface that are just waiting to be cleaned away, revealing fresh, uh, new skin that's pushing up underneath. So I'm going to use the exfoliating brush after uh, applying a few dollops onto your face. I'm going to massage it in uh, gently but firmly, and then finally we'll cleanse it all away. All right. This does have a little bit of a, how do I describe it, a fresh scent to it. It's almost, almost like a peppermint, but you'll see when it's on there, it's really going to sort of wake your skin up. You'll love it. So I'm just 
going to change the brush head. There we go. Okay. So once again, this is the exfoliating brush head. Um, still quite gentle, but with a little bit of exfoliation to it. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up the exfoliator. A little bit on my fingertips. There we go. And keep in mind when you bring this home with you, if you want, uh, you don't have to use the brush with it. You can leave it in your shower and uh, just mis massage it in with your fingertips. It still works quite well that way. Okay, so put it on your cheeks, chin, forehead. again, starting on this side, and here we go. Gentle circle. Can you feel that working? It feels so good, doesn't it? It somehow manages to be refreshing and relaxing all at the same time. Your skin is responding really beautifully to this treatment. I can see it kind of perking up underneath the cleanser there, underneath the uh, exfoliating cleanser. Good. I can also see your facial muscles beginning to relax. forehead muscles relaxing. You can see the cheeks, muscles in your cheeks relaxing. Your chin. Oh, okay. There we go. Right, I'm going to place the brush aside. Over here. Once again, I'm going to take a cleansing wipe and clean off the excess cleanser that's still left on the skin. Yes, right now. It's like a little bit uh, pink from the exfoliation. Um, that, of course, will calm down pretty soon. There we go. But your 
your skin is already looking more clear, more calm, beautiful. Forehead, couple swipes. Next, I'm going to apply a toner, then we'll do the mask, the massage, and finally, we'll moisturize. Alright? So, the toner that I have chosen for you is from Teddy Organics, and this is just 100% pure organic rose flower oil. I don't know how well you can see, but it's beautifully uh, cloudy. It smells gorgeous. You can smell that? Yeah. It has a really nice rose petal smell without being perfumey or too potent. It's quite delicate. It's just right. Okay. So, if you could go ahead and uh, I'm just going to Cover your eyes a little bit, and I'm just going to spray it all over your face, okay? There we go. How does that feel? It smells wonderful, doesn't it? Alright, so I'll place that over there. And that really helps just with balancing and freshening the skin, as well as reducing redness. Um, I think you are really going to love having it at home. Um, you'll be able to use it not just in the cleansing process, but anytime throughout the day that you just want to freshen up a little bit, it feels so nice. Okay. So, for your mask today, um, I have a few for you to bring home with you to try, but the one that we're going to be doing today is a cell-stimulating facial mask. I'm going to be applying it to a facial brush and sweeping it across your cheeks, your chin, your nose, your forehead. Um, this particular one is uh, safe for just above the eye area as well, so I will have you close your eyes so I can put it up here. You'll probably want to keep your eyes closed during the massage anyway, because it's so relaxing. Um, but it's uh, quite a thick mask, so there's no need to worry about it uh, dripping into your eyes or anything like that. So, I'm going to take the mask, I'm going to place some of it into this bowl. And after I've placed it into the bowl, I'm going to take this beautiful soft brush, dip it into the bowl, and apply it to your skin, okay? And uh, once again, since I'm going to be applying it all over, I will ask you to close your eyes as I begin applying it, okay? So, opening up the mask. mask. One of the things that's wonderful about it is it does have um, chlorella growth factor in it, which makes it green. Um, so it's a beautiful green mask, and uh, it just feels really cool and soothing on the skin. And uh, what it's supposed to do, and what in my experience it does do quite well, is it stimulates cell growth, bringing out uh, fresher, newer skin cells as your facial cells regenerate, uh, really allowing the uh, fresh, new face look that comes with a facial to be extended for a longer period of time. I'm going to go ahead and place it in the bowl. Okay. And if you could go ahead and close your eyes for me. Alright, so I'm going to begin by dipping the brush into the mask here. Make 
make sure I get a nice, generous amount. And take this first portion. I'm gonna apply it uh, right gently onto your eyelids. So I'm just going On this side, and on this side. Get a little more and scoop it up. Bring it down your nose. That should feel nice and cool. Good. Go ahead and get your right cheek. Using broad strokes of the brush. Make sure that it covers every bit with a nice thick layer on your jawline. Beautiful. Let's get a little on your chin. jawline here on the other side, on your right side. Your left side. Your right side. Spreading it on nice and thick. Cross your cheek. Being up a little bit more of the mask from the bowl here and applying it to your forehead. Nice. Thick strokes. Making sure to work it in a little bit too. Temples right here. Right here. Beautiful. So, while we are waiting for that mask to do its magic, I'm going to treat you to a nice, relaxing massage. I do have a few different lotions here to choose from. Um, the first one is a unscented lotion. The second has a very subtle but relaxing lavender scent. The third is a blend of citrus and lemongrass. It's a more invigorating scent to the lotion. I have a vanilla scented one as well. So which one would you prefer? Do you want one of the scented lotions or the unscented? Okay, see you guys.
got it. Let me go ahead and warm up some of the lotion between my hands. I'm going to smooth it onto your shoulders and the back of your neck. First on the left side. On the right. And the back of your neck. Getting some of your upper back here. Good. first on the left side. I'm going to begin with some gentle but firm strokes across your muscles here. Warming the muscles up to my toes. You should feel the muscles in your left shoulder relax as I squeeze the tension out of them. And on the right, getting the muscles. rhythmic massage and I can feel the tension in your shoulder melting away Moving back to the left, using both my hands, gliding over the muscles, feeling any stiffness or tension in the shoulder. and melt away. Using my thumbs and the tips of my fingers to push and prod the muscles. Feeling all those little muscles at the base of your skull relax. Working my way down the neck a little bit. I'm going to begin using more of my hands here. We're 
working down the neck muscles on either side of the spine. the tension out of your neck. As my hands glide over the muscles, pushing and squeezing out the tension in the back of your neck. I can feel you getting relaxed. I can feel the muscles softening beneath my touch. You're doing a great job. Just breathe. And relax. back, your left shoulder again, your right shoulder, and once again I'm going to Place my hands on your right shoulder here, and I'm going to squeeze the muscles. Good. And when I do it again, I'd like you to first take a deep breath in, and then exhale when I squeeze. When you exhale, you should feel any remaining tension draining out of your right shoulder, okay? So first, breathe in, hold, and I'm going to squeeze as you breathe out, good, one more time, breathe in, hold, and squeeze. Left side, same thing. Breathe in. Hold and squeeze. Breathe out. Good. Again, breathe in deeply. out, squeezing the muscle. Beautiful. How does that feel? <laughs> All right. Now, let's go ahead and clean that mask off your face. Now I'm going to use this warm, damp face cloth. Clean the mask off your face. I'll begin on your right side here, cleaning it off your cheek. Uh, it's coming off very nicely. How does that face cloth feel? Nice and warm.
other cheek. There we go. Looking down your jaw. Almost all of it. Just gonna do a couple little spots here. Make sure I got all of it. Right here. Mm, let's make sure there isn't any on your lids. can go ahead and open your eyes now. How do you feel? You look amazing. <laughs> you really do. Your face has been responding really well to all of these products. And uh, I think with continued use at home, you're going to see even more brilliant results. So, Let's go on to our final step with the moisturizing, and then as a one final service, if I could, I'd like to go in and just clean up your brows a little bit. You have really nice eyebrows, but it looks like they could use just a bit of upkeep. So I'll do a little bit of plucking and some trimming too, nothing major, just gonna make them look a little more precise. Okay? Great. So I have two moisturizers for you to choose from. They are both beauty oils. Um, the first one is Teddy Organics Organic Jojoba Oil. Uh, I am a huge proponent of jojoba oil for um, moisturizing the skin, for um, moisturizing hair, nails, pretty much all over the body. It's a great multi-purpose beauty oil. Um, I have found that more so than other oils, it really uh, does a great job of mimicking the skin's own natural oils. So regardless of what kind of skin you have, even if you have oily skin, um, what I've heard from my clients who have oily skin is that this applying oil, this oil, actually reduces their oiliness because the skin thinks that this is natural oil and it stops producing so much of its own. Um, but also if you have dryness, like I do, I have some dry patches, uh, after regular use of uh, a couple weeks using this, it cleared my dry patches right up. It's wonderful. I know some people are all about coconut oil. I think jojoba oil is where it's at. It has, it's, has a beautiful, uh, thick texture to it. It's really rich, so when it first goes on, um, it doesn't disappear into the skin quite as quickly as, a, say, a traditional cream moisturizer. It sits there for just a little bit, but when it does soak in, you are left with beautifully moisturized skin for hours. It's wonderful. Um, this doesn't really have much of a scent to it. And then the other option we have here, we just have a little vial of it at the moment. This is Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is uh, another oil. I believe it's a blend of oils. Um, I usually put this on in the evening before I go to sleep. And the reason I wanted to show this one to you it works beautifully as a moisturizer, but it also, if you want to take a little sniff, it has a beautiful um, floral scent to it. It's, uh, I believe it's 
I always get them mixed up. It's either lavender or lilac. I think it's lavender. So it's wonderful as a nighttime oil because in addition to being hydrating, it's very calming. I'm going to send you home with samples of both of these, but which one would you like me to apply now? You got it. So I'm going to take a little bit of oil out of the uh, bottle with the dropper. I'll place it just on a few spots in your face and then I'll gently massage it in, okay? So. There we go. I'm going to apply it to this cheek, to this one, right on your forehead. Drop on your nose. Let's just gently massage that in. Make sure we get it in all over. Both sides of your face. Okay, in your forehead. Massage it into your temples and your chin. Wonderful. You look so fresh and renewed, um, just like you, but a little bit better. So now I'm just going to sneak in there with my tweezers. Do some very gentle tweezing just around the perimeter of your brow. Right in here. How's that? I'm known for my very gentle plucking. <laughs> you get the technique just right get the hairs out with pretty much no discomfort at all. Here we go. Just cleaning them up a little bit. There we go. On the other side. little brow tweezers, uh, scissors, and just gonna trim a tiny bit here, tiny bit here, okay? Just gonna go in, uh, it might sound like I'm cutting a lot, but I, uh, go very gently and conservatively, because I would rather cut, uh, trim too little and have to go back in, so. side. Okay. Wow. It's amazing how little touches like that can make such a big difference. All right. Thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, it was really a pleasure to have you here. I'm so glad I was able to get your personal assistant to book an appointment with us. Uh, you can relax in your chair there for as long as you like. You can take a little nap if you want. 
When you're done, you can come out front and our receptionist will have a fully packed box of all those products that we used on you today, plus some more, with detailed instructions. You can call us any time of day or night if you have any questions about the products or your skin or how to apply them. We do make house calls, so if you would like to enjoy any of our spa treatments from the comfort of your own home, you can absolutely have your personal assistant call us for that as well and just book an appointment. Um, but for now, once again, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, we'd love to have you as a client, and we hope we'll see you more.